Welcome back. Mayor Michael Hancock joins us now for our Denver 7 bi-weekly interview. Thank you for being here on this Thursday, Mr. Mayor. Happy Thursday to both of you. Good to be with you. All right, Mayor, we want to start off asking you about a new video from overnight. Very disturbing. It shows uh, Denver police having an encounter with bystanders as they were trying to clear a homeless camp. And we want to take just a second to play some of that video for our viewers. Anybody who was hurt needs to sue. The liability went up after the state law changed. Everybody needs to start suing. So not sure if you could hear, but the voice behind the camera seems to advise the bystanders to sue DPD. Our sources tell us that City Councilwoman Candy C. DeBaca's voice is the one that is heard on the video, although we have not confirmed it and we have not heard back from her office yet, but just wanted to get your reaction. Have you seen the video and, and, and what's your response? I have seen the video, Brian, and I uh, received it last night and just as um, you and probably the public watching it, um, it's a troubling video throughout. Um, you know, this was, uh, it was peaceful. It was actually, uh, it was going really well in terms of the cleanup of that particular encampment. Uh, and then we had some uh, protesters show up and then all hell broke loose. But my heart sank uh, because yeah. the person who sent it to me, the staff member who sent it to me said, watch the entire video. And when I heard uh, her voice, um, I, just, I just, it just sank. It, it, it just, I could not believe that a public official was mm. doing what is uh, happening on that video. And so obviously it's something that uh, the public as well as authorities are going to have to take a look at, but it's very, very troubling. I don't think in the, the entire time I've been on, on, in government, uh, I have seen anything that has disturbed me more. So obviously you believe it is uh, her voice as well, Mayor Hancock. Thank yes. you. Uh, well, you know, one of the biggest stories that came out this week nationally has been the drama involving the U.S. Postal Service. You've been tweeting about this. Uh, what do you think uh, has to happen to make this right uh, with the Postal Service, with mail-in voting? What are your thoughts on that? Well, on one hand, the president and the postmaster general need to absolutely not only pause their destructive actions in terms of dismantling the capacity of the post office, but reverse and restore all of the machines and the, the ability to take care of our, our uh, postal carriers during this unprecedented time. Uh, you know, there are going to be more people mailing their ballots, and we simply cannot have, as, as President Obama said last night, democracy stolen or taken away uh, through these, you know, unconscionable acts uh, of the postmaster and, and the president. On the other side, in terms of what we should be doing in our cities and states, is preparing to do everything we can. Uh, to make sure that people's right to vote is a, not abridged by any uh, reckless act from by anyone. And, uh, and I'm already in conversations with people who want to be on the ground, uh, complying with the law, collecting ballots, making sure people get their ballots turned in. But vote early. That's the encouragement that we have for folks. Mayor, overnight, uh, we got the news that the city is moving forward to change restrictions on roommates, how many roommates you can have in the city. And, and given the current climate, the cost of living in Denver and our homeless situation, this could help a lot of people uh, save on rent and bills and other things. Do you support this change? You know, I do. I think, let me tell you what where this comes from. Uh, one, it's very historic um, in terms of um, not having density in certain areas and density in others. Um, the reality is, is that as we continue to grow as a city, we have to think differently about what we are permitting in um, certain neighborhoods. And I think all neighborhoods need to share the burden of greater density and particularly around our transit corridors. When we saw, started the process some three, four years ago to replan or create a new strategic plan around the land development and, 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 and the, the growth of our city called Blueprint, uh, 2040, we made a, a commitment and it came from the citizens that weighed in that equity had to be the hallmark, the value that drove the, the, the principles of this plan. And, and that, that is uh, how you translate that in terms of zoning is creating opportunities for people to live around transit corridors, but also every neighborhood plays its part to help uh, consume the equity, excuse me, the, the density in our, in our city. And that's what this plan is designed to do. And I certainly understand people's angst. Uh, it won't change um, neighborhoods as much as people think it will. You still have the opportunity for neighborhood plans to make sure it's smart, it's pragmatic, and it's it's built to, to meld within 
uh, the current character of neighborhoods. And so we, we got to move forward, and I appreciate those leaders who have stood up even in the difficult times and, and the pushback from some neighbors who still uh, must understand what this means going forward. Yeah. All right, uh, Mr. Mayor, uh, we've seen COVID-19 cases going down lately, holding pretty steady. Could you see relaxing any more restrictions in Denver? Also, are you in talks with Denver Public Schools, which starts next week, and, and how is this going to affect them? Yeah, no, this is not the time to relax our, our uh, restrictions. This is a time for us to uh, pedal to the metal, um, to continue to max what we're doing. Uh, we got to continue to allow businesses to operate, but within a, with guardrails to, to make sure we keep everyone safe. We are doing very well in Denver and throughout Colorado. Uh, we got to keep doing it because not everyone around us is doing as well. And so we got to stay smart and thoughtful about this. And yes, I had a long, good, thoughtful conversation with Superintendent uh, Susana Cordova today, uh, this week. Uh, where we talked about the opening of the schools, some of their thinking, how we can be helpful from the city standpoint. As you know, Nicole, they will start out virtually at least through October uh, and then continue to assess it from there, which I think is a smart plan. The, care, the thing that we're most concerned about is making sure we're able to get the technology in the hands of kids. And interestingly enough, a lot of people don't realize this. We have a lot of uh, technology being held up because of uh, customs uh, as they're trying to get mm -hmm. tablets in the hand of kids. And so there's a clarion call out to businesses and individuals. If you have extra computers, tablets, uh, help us out. We uh, have about 9,000 tablets that have not made it into Denver because of custom restrictions and holding them up coming from overseas. And that technology is essential this year. Our yeah. thoughts are with uh, teachers and students for uh, a good year, a good school year this year. And Mayor, we always appreciate your time. Thank you for joining us. Always good to be with both of you. Take care of yourselves. Thank right. you.